Hi guys, this is your girl Alicia Joy. Thank you so much for coming to this YouTube video. I wanted to show you guys a little website I've been working on and it's still a work in progress. Um, this is the Papillon Library. Uh, if you are into Second Life Readables and you like uh, Papillon Readables, this is one of the sites for you. There are other quality sites as well that deal with Papillons. So, um, but this is the one that I personally am working on. Mind you, I work two jobs and I'm always busy all the time and even in my real life. So I thought I'd give you a little introduction. There's a lot of things that are missing on the page because I'm a one person army and I single handedly pay for the hosting and a domain. I pay about $400 a year, uh, real life money. Uh, to keep this going. I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for help. I don't ask for tips or anything like that. I don't ask for anything like that. So it is the papillonlibrary.com. I have a few tabs we're going to discuss really quick because I know my, my site could be a little bit more worked on. This is the main page. This is what you see. Okay, a little beautiful little butterfly. I'm going to the about and then you can read the about and you can see my real life picture, which is, that is me right there on a good picture day, mind you. All right. Um, go to Papillon history, which is still being developed. Okay. It's going to be talking about all the different versions, um, what they do. This is not the note cards uh for each revision change or any version changes or any particle changes in each version or any body changes etc this is just going to be the basic rundown then we have papillon auctions right on over here um we have these displayed right here um yes it's me and renee uh, my times are changing because my jobs keep changing when I go in and want to go out. So my auction, Papillon only auction time has been very varied. So Renee's auction has always been very consistent. She's a pretty excellent young woman as well as auctioneer in Papillon. And she's been doing it for about as long as I have with Papillon. If you guys want to be added on here, you have to make sure that I'm not banned from your sim. I'll be more than happy to add you. Um, I won't go to your sim and visit you and grief you or crash you or record you or anything like that as rumors have been told about me. There's been a lot of rumors about me, but this is not the video for that. So basically you must be an active auctioneer as well. And I might be adding another rule, you know, I just don't want to be banned from the places that are on this site. Since I'm financially paying for this site myself without any help, and I'm doing this site entirely on my own, um, I don't want no drama, no nothing. And also, there's an application form. So the application form will take you to another page. It's the application form. Fill it out. Confirm you're not a robot. Send it. And then we also have Papillon uh, Friendly Markets. So I put like your photo here, you know, same thing, application form, etc. cetera. Uh, terms and condition, my site's TOS. This is gonna change. It's basically saying that I'm not here to share your information because uh, I do have a forum. So I wanted you to make sure that you guys knew that I wasn't sharing information. Um, information's only for the video game the second life itself. It's not for any real life, anything other than to reach out to you, um, through email or on site forum as the person behind the avatar. And then I have the application form, which is obviously the application form. So you can reach the application form this way and through the actual link itself. Now this is where this breedable photo library right here. This is, on all the it's like a photo gallery okay of the papillons now a lot of these are missing okay and i'm very sorry about all these 
I just haven't had time. I work six, sometimes seven days a week, sometimes five. And then, and I'm so tired, you know, physically tired that I don't even log in. I'm just busy sleeping. Just like today, I worked, you know, morning and uh, the week caught up with me and I fell asleep on the couch with like five of my rescues. So, and I fell asleep for like four hours and I'm just barely waking up now around nine o'clock. So you click on agave, agaves. Well, there we go. I basically will show you what the symbols mean. Um, I don't have the effects page yet because there's a lot of effects for each type of breedable. Now I'm going to get smart about the, uh, the way I do the particles. So there's going to be three ways you can view the particle itself once I get started and I'll elaborate on it in a different video. So such, you know, the version, the current version, any version issues, the racial types and order AGA on so forth, any other notes, um, and any other stuff that you want to see. Now, they're going to be click here to go to the size chart for agaves, go to the racial type. This is going to be fixed um, as I get a chance to go along. But once I'm done physically with all each one, you're going to be able to click it and be able to see int what it is introduced by. And you'll be able to see information on each of these photos eventually. Um, well, you can click on it and go to the next one in order. They're going to be in alphabetical order, so it's just easy for you to see. You're more than welcome to use my photos. Just make sure you give me credit um, for any of the things that you use of mine. Um, but you have to get my permission first. I have alien flowers, and these um, were uh, given to me by Fluffy Waffle. Um, she's amazing. She did the original uh, Papillon archives. So these are going to be changed up with my own personal photos. I just borrowed hers temporarily because um, I just want to do a little something a little categorized for you guys. But there, you notice there's no information on, on here. This is Dada B. There's no other information. So um, there's going to be information added on to that. Anthrums, this is pretty much done. Let you know about all the symbols, the versions, the body types, the flowers. Um, on here, I did the same um, racial type. I used AAN, which is the spathe, which is the head. So you can actually see the difference in the actual flowers tops. And so on and so forth. Some of, like I said, there's going to be some of these that are not done. Some of these are missing some stuff because there's been some new updates with some things. And um, let's see, bonsais, for instance. Bonsais, they're going to be missing the frozen one because I haven't had a chance. And there's another one, which I have not. But there's going to be both the emblem version as well as the old default version, uh, the uh, the lower prim version and the full prim versions on each side. Um, so basically you go through each and every single one of these, like embers will be a very incomplete. It's gonna be like a categorized right here. And yes, I'm gonna be working on embers, but they're so laggy. <laughs> um, cattails, so on and so forth. Like I said, it's blank, um, but you get the gist of what I've got left to work on in here as well. Um, I am proud that I got the majority of the magic circles. That's one of my projects. I semi finished until Miss Butterfly did the new update. Um, and I got to change the new update on here too, but basically to, in a nutshell, all these are my own personal photos. So I'm very proud of my own personal photos. Okay, now there's charts and mutation data. This is um, a tip example you need to find out what things do. The accessories, this is going to be a list of all the accessories. And yes, it will have the picture, um, the photo, and, the, and what you'll be able to click on it and we'll say what it does. So this is very incomplete. Like I said, I'm a single 
person doing everything. Here's arch types. And um, I'm right now, this is one of those ones where you can actually link to Google uh, Sheets. And and now, let's see. So this is the part where you see the arch types right on over here. You'll be able to see what the arch types are. Uh, right now, it's under being used with Google Sheets, but eventually I'm going to do a different method with it soon, just so it caches in the system with uh, with SEO. Also, then when you scroll up, I'm going to just, it's going to be, it's going to be more detailed. It's going to be charts that are newer. Um, I'm going to include other people's charts that they've made, charts that are older. Now, this is the older school breeding. I've been doing, been breeding Papillon for a decade now. So there's some of these you might want to look at, at the older stuff and the newer stuff. Um, there's effects, which is, this will be the effects page. As you can tell, it's not even close to being complete. I had a hard time figuring out um, if I'm going to do it with a category, if I'm going to be a, do it a certain, a different way, am I going to be doing it? You know what I mean? Um, so now I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I want, there's, I want to do a photo of the effect, but I also want to do a GIF of the effect working so you guys can see it or like a little mini video and have it linked to YouTube, to my YouTube channel. So you guys can see it in full. Each one, though, each I'm gonna have individual videos, <laughs> just for each one. Now this is how to update your papillons. Um, I'm gonna have like a how-to, how to update your papillons with the videos, um, HUDs. Now I'm still working on this, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Here I talk about the uh, the regular modified data HUD, um, and it just shows. Um, what it is, and then what each thing clicks on, what it, what it is when you click on a live plant or bug. And then I have sometimes my tips. And I'm going to add the other HUDs to it once I get a chance to dive into it. But there's a lot of stuff. Latest updates and versions. This lets you know what versions everything is. And this is collapsible. You can actually organize it. Um, the breedable type in alphabetical order. You could do the current version. You could do the notes, known problems. But I like to do it this way in alphabetical order. So you know, agave is different than a fairy, uh, a fairy tale for the fairies. Um, lets you know the versions. Um, lets you know the notes. So you guys can see what version you guys need to be. Um, so the magic circles, there is an issue with uh, version 18K. So it's not giving you that uh, plant. Whenever you click on it, it will it will birth but stay in baby mode. It won't rise out its full circle size and it won't decorate itself to what it's supposed to be. So 18I as of um, January 29th, 2023, that is uh, the issue still. So it lets you know all of the different versions of things. Um, and then uh, my tips and tricks and blog. This is just, you know, the blog on some things of my thoughts. You know, you may not agree to it, but it just is. Then I have my menus, which as you can see what the menus do. I have, of course, it's a blank slate on the page. Moon pools and symbols. Now, this is pretty much complete. Okay, I'm always learning something new about the moon pool. All right, so it's very good for you guys to read all this stuff and let you know what benefits what, uh, what type of classes and what type of racial types of certain uh, breedables benefit the moon pool the best. So, and then I have my own personal tips right here. Um, and then troubleshooting your moon pool, how to enhance your moon pool, 
this is all the different things um, I talk about here, and then all the different tiers of what your moon pool on what it does, okay, and the points, the XPs. Then the energy source tier um, is um, right on over here as well. And then the bonsai bonus, because your bonsai gives your moon pool a bonus. And then how to update your moon pool. So, if, say for example, you need to update your moon pool. I this is the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do such. Um, so yeah, that's that. Mutation data. Um, this is like uh, the racial class, how much uh, mutation, uh, life, uh, etc., and the evolutionary sequence of it. Because um, it's like the racial class, AGA will be one, and then the next racial class, the evolutionary sequence will be two on and on and up. Now, Hal was different because it was a mistake, but it still shows up if people still have them, like me. Then you have a um, alien flower. You got, these will all be in alphabetical order. As you could tell, I got to butterfly and I went, okay, I need a break. You know, um, it was quite a bit of work. No cards and notices and group chats. Now, this is going to be something you can click on each and every single one of these. These should be relatively in order from the last time I did this. Um, this was approximately, oh, well, it's overdue. I mean, it's like two years overdue. Um, but the Cattail Challenge, um, you go over here, the Chrysanthemum Project, uh, the Papillon uh, Halloween 2021 Snapshot Winners. Woohoo! I won. Look it. I won one. I finally won one. All right. And then we have the stockings are stuffed, you know, the different groups, chats, and stuff like that. So this is the notices part, so you can actually see it. I have plenty more where this comes from, but um, I haven't had a chance to um, really dive into this. The older stuff down here um, will be... Uh, um, Let's just say it, it would just, it's just, it's just going to be a little bit detailed. Okay. All right. Later down the road, we won't have photos on some of it because I, there was no photos, uh, no correct documentation back then, at least on my part, it is. Then uh, there's a base Papillon basics. I'll be talking about different basics for a simple garden, um, if you want to do a butterfly garden, if you want to do only a snail garden, if you want to do plants and bugs, depending what bugs, what benefits, what I'll be talking about. This is going to be my personal opinion. Um, people have different experiences, so that's why there's a community. Then the pure color breeding, I'll be talking about pure color breeding, the benefits of pure color breeding, how to tell what is a breeding, then the racial classes. Now, it's going to be all the different racial classes for each thing. They're going to be in alphabetical order. That's my goal. Then the racial types. Now, the racial classes and racial types are two different things. So, I here I am. I'm showing you a physical representation of what each racial type of things. These will have no mutations at all whatsoever, if I can avoid it. If it's something like aliens, like a... Alien flowers, they only have one racial type. So I'm just going to show you what flower. And um, racials, racial types for anthrums and so on and so on and so forth. So you can scroll. You can tell I got exhausted when I got to the crystals. <laughs> I just said, okay, I'm done. So that's what I did one particular day. Um, let's see. We also have seasonal server unlocks, which I'll talk about that. It's just like different... Um, different seasons where certain things unlock in okay so um, things will pop up in a lot in your garden summer server fall server halloween server winter server there's like six different servers uh, or seven different servers uh, for that size chart references this is what i'm going to show you guys the sizes of the agaves up into the biggest size you can get unless um Miss Butterfly updates something and makes something bigger or smaller, then I will have to readjust these photos. And then, and so on and so forth. So you have a physical representation on the sizing 
of all of these. And I do want to emphasize now GRA and uh, is grand and also grandiose GRA slash GRA. So that is why I, um, in my chart, I put grandi for grandiose and grand GRA. Okay. So you guys can tell the difference between the size references with the things under, underneath the, the plants. Now, terms, terminology, abbreviations, this is what I'm going to talk about. You know, what an arch type is, what a class is, what a first release is, the res, the AOE, you know, area of a of um of effect. Because there's some things that have only a certain range that they work and their uh, scripts reach to other plants and bugs. Now, videos and tutorials, this is where I'm going to be doing, you know, introduction to Papillon Breedables, video two, how does he take one, two. Um, I, I have another one. But it's in particular to um, to Papillons, uh, which I've got to upload. I've got to put on here, but I haven't had a chance. I just totally, totally bombed out. Then I have unlocks. Unlocks. This will be all different unlocks, like the unlock chains. That's what I'm planning on. This whole page is blank. Then I got note cards and uh, community news. Like I said, this is going to be a similar thing to the note cards notices group chats but is this going to be mainly the note cards uh, uh the the notices okay like really really important things so if you want something that's one way and you want something that's a different way this is one way to take a look and be able to read um if you have an issue just click on it just read it right through this page is mainly for SEO so that I'm searchable in the search engine. So all this is, is readable. Okay. The other one is for ease of access for you guys. Sorry, I'm scrolling really fast, but all right. I left and this is the forum. You're more than welcome to come in and it's like, you know, come on in, enter your stuff. Remember your information is private. Your email address, where you're from, all, all that stuff is all private. I don't share it with nobody. The only eyes I will see is myself and my fiance. My fiance is, is a uh, fog cat one black rain. He's my partner in second life. So, you know, but he doesn't really pay attention to this part. He knows this is my project. He knows that this is my baby. So I'll let you know. Welcome to the forum. Introduce yourself and the forum rules. It's very much self-explanatory, you know. So, and I put I put it on here. This site was originally um, paid for by my ma my by my late mother. My mo my mother did this for me as my birthday present because my mom used to love watching me be in my garden. And sometimes I will let her control my avatar. Um, I'd walk away from the computer, and she would be, you know, walking through my um, in it should be in SL on my avatar basically and join the butterflies. So um, I put a lot of stuff. So I put contact. So if you want to contact me, I put contact us, but it's really me. So you put your, your second life, first name, your last name, resident. If you don't have a last name, your email, this is your, like your real life email. Okay. So um, best time to contact you in second life and basically second lifetime. The date, and then you know, you could choose an option. You've got questions, comments, suggestions, other, and you can put your message. I'm not a robot, and submit. You know, if you want to contact me, if you have a question about something, if you need something, because I'm not always on because I I do work a lot. Then I have FAQs. If you have any questions, like quick questions, so how do I report an error and update to the site? It lets you know. Um, I put on some of my socials up. Let's see. It's where it takes you to see if it works. This is the first time I'm double checking it. Hold on. We're just seeing. We're just seeing. Then we'll go check the Twitter one too. Oh, the Twitter one works. Okay, great. Now, Facebook. Come on. There we go. The Facebook one works. Yay. 
how do I get my auction house added as part of the Papillon only auctions? It doesn't really matter if it's just Papillon auctions. It could be your market. If you're a multi-breed um, a market, just one way to be SEO cached in a real life way. So if you are, I don't know, my, one of my favorite auction houses is Delirium besides my own. If uh, Mumbles decided she wants to be put on here, yeah, of course. I will let her. She's awesome. She's been my friend for years, you know. So this is just my socials. If you want to, you know, put me up on social, your social media saying, hey, if anybody else is on my Facebook, you know, or, or my Twitter, I'll add more socials later, but I don't have that many. So, so I also have the main store, the Papillon main stores, because Miss Butterfly Bellflower is the creator of Papillon Readables. And this is the actual SL URL. So you can click this and it will take you. But you have to be inside Second Life and you can just teleport right there. And it says visit this location and you could go directly there. Now I might put my, my own uh, place. Um, but this is about Papillon because I don't just do only Papillon. So, yeah, this is basically it. And also, if you become a forum member, you can also log in. And you can see if I'm actually online or not. So, let's see. I'm going to sign me up. Let's see. I think it's Facebook. Yeah, I think so. Yay! I'm logging myself in. Let's see. Okay. It says, hello, Alicia Joy Haven. Profile, my account, profile. That's how you go in. And then view public profile, right? Let me see. Oops, I have bad girl. Okay. No notifications yet. My account. Settings. So I have all that type of stuff. So if you want to send me pictures, you can. Um, if, because I'm not easily reachable inside Second Life sometimes because I am trying to catch up on two full sims and yeah. Forum comments, forum posts, your account settings, your notifications, how you want to be notified and all that fun stuff. So you can also go ahead and click here and log out and say, okay, I'm logged out. And it will log you out. And there you go. I have a real form. So, and go back to about or the main. Click on the icon. And it will take you, the icon where the butterfly is, the Papillon library. And it will take you back to the first default page. Now, if you're looking at this site on your mobile, it may look a little different. Um, I do need to go into my back end, my back, um, my back page of us and fix the mobile part a bit. There's some things I noticed that weren't cool with it. So that is basically it. So if you are in Papillon um, or if you are a Papillon friendly market um, and I'm not banned from your SIM and um, yeah, you're more than welcome to be on this site as well. Anyways, I hope this helps you guys. I'm adding some more stuff. And thank you guys for understanding the know that I am a single person doing the job of an entire website. And I'm financially paying for this $400 a year. And this is a premium web. Um, uh, everything's Everything I'm doing here is premium. I have 99.99999% uh, uptime. Um so, I mean, I have a very good server and servers. I have about this website is on maybe 2000 servers. So if one gets, the other ones are not down. So there's a 100, pretty much 100% uptime, this site. And I could I constantly add stuff if I wanted to, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff to look at. And this is all in alphabetic order. Something's out of order. Or if you see something's wrong on it, feel free to message me. You can message me in Second Life. I am Alicia Joya Haven or Alicia Joya Haven Alt resident. Um, I'm also Haven Breedables resident as well. 
inside Second Life. So I look forward to talking to you later. Have a nice day and thank you for understanding.